Okay, let us start the next problem. Consider the following table of arrival time and burst time for three processes P0, P1 and P2. So there are these three processes P0 and P1 and P2 and their arrival times are different 0, 1 and 2 and the burst time, the CPU time they need is 9, 4 and 9. And then what is given is that you have to consider preemptive shortest job first scheduling algorithm okay uh, scheduling is carried out only at arrival or completion of processes that is fine what is the average waiting time for these processes so you have to find the average waiting time for this process means after they arrive how long uh, they spend waiting okay that's what you have to find so what I'm going to do is first I'm going to write the initial bus out here 9, 4 and 9. I write them because they change and out here I'm going to mark their arrival times. Okay, so 0 and this is where P0 arrives. Okay, and then there is 1 and this is where P1 arrives and this is 2 out here. Okay, and this is where P2 arrives. Okay, so this is all I have for now and it's shortest job first okay and it's preemptive so if uh, it's basically shortest remaining time only okay it's just given different name it's shortest remaining time so let's let's start so when p0 comes that's the only process so that means that the first process to run must be p0 and at one okay after one second p1 comes okay so after one second the bursts left for p0 are eight and P1 comes and for P1 it needs only four bus okay and the left are eight so that means uh, P0 will be preempted it will be kicked out by P1 and the CPU will be given to P1 from here like this okay so this will happen and then at this time 2 P2 comes okay by then P1 will be 3 but P2 is 9 okay so P2 is not going to kick P1 out and P1 will continue and finish its uh, burst okay and, and so that means from 1 it will continue to 5 because it needs 4 bursts okay so it will continue up till here so P0 P1 okay and then this is done we are done with P1 we are left with P0 and P2 so out of these two P0 has smaller bursts it needs smaller bursts right now because it has already completed one burst before it needs only eight bursts so that means that CPU will be given to P0 and it will go ahead and finish eight bursts that means up till 13 okay and then P2 will come and finish all the bursts up till 22 so this is what is going to be uh, going on in this thing and then if you want to find the average waiting time you want to find the average waiting time okay so wh what do you know about the average waiting time the average waiting time is uh, the waiting times you take the average of all the waiting times okay so p0 so how much is p0 waiting so p0 came here I didn't wait and it was waiting from 1 to 5 okay and then it got finished so it waited for 4 time units okay you can you can see it out here it waited for 4 time units okay that is P0 what about P1 P1 came here and it got done so P1 did not wait at all so 0 okay what about P2 P2 came here and it got the CPU out here so it came at 2 it got the CPU at 13 so 13 minus 2 is 11 and that's the waiting time so this divided by 3 is 15 divided by 3 and that is 5 okay and that is the correct choice